back, sir, except the lily. Any word at all? Not a thing, Major. thrown out, General. Harry says he's almost got the radio. Radio operator and pilot. Repairs completed, sir. All channels operational. Roger. Army 317 to Archbury Tower. 317 to Archbury. Do you read me? 317 to Tower. Do you read me? Army 317, Archbury. Read you 555. Do you have emergency traffic? Over. 317, roger. Approximately one minute due east of the field, on the deck. Request clearance for a straight-in approach, runway 250, emergency landing. 317, you're coming in too low. Can you raise your nose? Negative, I'm coming in with two engines out. Here we come. High. A QM production. Starring Robert Lansing with guest stars Donna Winter and Lloyd Buckner. Tonight's episode, The Cry of Fallen Birds. Municipal Council of Archbury and I want to take this opportunity to thank you for taking the time off from your regular duties to allow us the privilege of presenting you with this most deserved honor. And whereas the citizens of Archbury are most desirous of expressing their gratitude for the amity and cooperation shown them by their gallant American allies, they do hereby instruct the Council and the Mayor to present this scroll of appreciation to Major General Homer Stoneman and to the officers and men of his command. Mr. Mayor, distinguished members of the council, may I say first of all that no honor has ever given me more personal pleasure than this one. Thank you for your heartwarming gesture of friendship. I can assure you that we shall endeavor to be worthy of it always. Our pleasure, General. Sorry to keep you waiting, Frank. It's all right, General. You know, I had a colonel tell me once he'd rather have the garrison townspeople on his side than an extra division. I agree. So, what can I do for you? Well, sir, you can start by cutting an order that will probably make Mayor Hickey and the council want to lynch us. I want the manor house south of the field torn down. Well, Frank... Sir, that place is a menace. It blocks my new southwest runway like... Then a... abandon the runway. General, when we were running strikes over the French coast... Landing space wasn't very important, but the 918th can't be expected to hit targets like Blousted and get back every time with enough fuel and enough altitude. You know when Roger Hammett, the first Earl of Archbury, put up those original walls? No, sir, I'm afraid I don't. 1540. For 400 years, those walls have stood against fires, floods, sieges, wars. And now you want the AAF to destroy them. General, this was not a decision that was easy for me to make. I know it's bound to cause trouble, tension. All right, what's our choice? Move the airfield or wait until some fortress plows head on into that house and kills every blessed person in it? Now, I don't know how many people live in that place, but two. 
Lady Catherine Hammett and one maid. Well, what is she, poor or an eccentric? I never met the woman, Frank. Might be an hour. If she needs money badly enough, she might welcome condemnation proceedings. I'm gonna drop by there right now and have a little talk with her. She just might greet me with wide open arms. Maybe, but I doubt it. She's already registered a complaint against you, General. For buzzing her house. You're kidding. I wish I were. Good luck. Frank, be diplomatic. Yes, sir. Have a smoke, Corporal. This might be a while. Yes, sir. Piece of paper and a pencil, Corporal. Yes, sir. All right, give me. Thank you. Lovey, don't you kill him till I'm out of the way. You might hit me. Telephone the police, Bridget. I'll keep him here till you get back. Madam, you are out of your mind. I'm the one who should call the police. I am a general in the United States Air Force. Sir? I believe I've broken my nose. They slammed the door on it. Richard, I wonder if we mightn't have acted somewhat hastily. Oh. Yeah, it's Boston. Go wait in the car for me, Corporal. Lean your head back against the seat. I'll drive you back to the base in a few minutes. Yes, sir. Young man, I'm frightfully sorry about your nose. Would you like a sedative or something? Uh, uh no, ma'am, thanks. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be all right. Tell me something. You wouldn't by any chance be General Stone, would you? No, madam, I would not. My name is Savage. I command the 918th Bombardment Group. 
Oh, so you're the one who's been popping about my roof like a schoolboy on a motorbike. Scaring poor love out of her wits. Well, Lady Catherine, I don't believe that you'll be troubled with that much longer. That's why I'm here, to find out how soon it would be convenient for you to evacuate the premises. Evacuate? What are you talking about? Well, this structure blocks my southwest runway for the safety of everybody concerned, including yourself. We've decided to remove it. What? Tear it down, you mean? I'll send the necessary papers over in the morning for you to sign. I trust that the amount will be equitable. Get... I'm not about to sign anything, and you're not going to lay one finger on these walls. Is that perfectly clear? Well, we'll see about that. Yes, we certainly shall. And don't slam the door. Why not? Because you'll disturb the birds. That's the famous mystery woman of Archbury. What? First time any one of us have ever seen her, sir. Here she hasn't stepped outside of that place since 41. Well. Right. Well, that's the mystery, General. They say she intends to stay in there forever. Well, I think she'll change her mind, Corporal. Just about the time the demolition crew will go to work. Bye. Lovely weather, my lady. Uh, Derek, I do appreciate your coming all the way from London in this dreadful weather. Well, Catherine, since I happily walk through fire for you, I must say I don't count a little rain as much of an obstacle. Uh, I hated to telephone you both, but... Uh, you see, that's part of the problem. It's like this every day, isn't it, Richard? Every day? Poor love. But at least they go to war frequently enough then, don't they? Touche, Derek. Yes, they do go to war frequently enough. Frequently, some of them fail to return. I didn't mean... Well, let's go into the library, shall we? Bridges laid a fire. Did you have a pleasant trip down from London? Yes, quite, thank you. Uh, Train was crowded, as usual. Uh, Ooh, a fire. Very nice, very nice indeed. Oh! Did either of you have breakfast? Well, as a, as a matter of fact... Oh, dear. Bridget. I'll fix the tray at once, my lady. Miss Foot, could I be of help, perhaps? Excuse me. Oh, it's most kind of you, Mr. Ricky. Allow me to carry your tray, please. Oh. Here, here, watch this. Love. I think he's proposed. And she's turned him down, the mayor. Yes, I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Practically ordered her out of the house, but she won't go. She seems to think I'd perish without her. And well, you might. If you ask me, I think you could both use a man around the house. Speaking of that... Oh, Derek, please, not again. Look, Catherine, just because you had one bad experience with some rotter... You... Please. What's this terrible problem you said you wanted to talk to me about? Well, its name is Savage. He's commander of the American Air Base at Archbury. Derek, he wants to tear my house down. Indeed, why? Oh, he claims it's in his way or something. But the point is, can he do it? No, not without the government's initiating condemnation proceedings. Well, is there any chance in the world of General Savage's being able to manage that? Catherine, I know how much this old place means to you. At least I know how much it used to mean to me when we were children playing here. But times have changed, haven't they? I mean, with your father dead, you're the last of the Hammets. You can't find servants, the taxes must be... Derek, I want to stay. Why? Well, I've told you why, because I love this... No, that's not reason enough. All right, then. It's because I feel safe here. Is that reason enough? Are you safe, Catherine, or are you a prisoner? Bridget tells me you haven't set foot outside since your father's funeral. That's ridiculous. I haven't felt up to it, for one thing. 
Well, you won't help me, so that's that. All right, I'll find someone else. Maybe Mr. Hickey. Or the council. Surely if the entire town petitions for General Savage's removal, they'll have to listen. What if you were to sit down with the poor man and have a talk? The poor man? That monster? Derek, this is the most arrogant, impolite, intractable, impossible... Oh, if only I knew voodoo, I'd... I'd make a doll. And I'd take a pin, and I'd plunge it into that stiff neck. Ouch. Something wrong, sir? No, it's just a pain in my neck. Thinking of Lady Catherine again? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I was, Major. Radio operator to pilot. Revised meteorology report indicates weather closing down over primary. Ceiling 8,000 and lowering, sir. Oh, for... Pilot to radio, did you say 8,000 and lowering? Yes, sir. Blasted's out. Pass the word, Major. This is Red Fox 1 to pack. Keep alert, follow the leader. Red Fox 1 to pack. Keep alert, follow the leader. You ever get the feeling, General, that fate is against us as far as Blostad's concerned? I don't think we're ever going to reach that target. Man makes his own fate, Major. We'll get Blaustad next time we have to taxi in. Starting 90 degree right turn, 9 or 0 degree right turn. Here they come, General, half the Luftwaffe at 12 o'clock high. Bandits, 12 o'clock high. Look at those condemnation rules. Let you know how far he can go. Good. directly.
Come on, come on, get him in here before the rain starts. I've made some hot tea for the poor things, Mum. Yes, Bridget. Or well, whiskey, if you'd like. Right, Mum. Is he... is he dead? No, not yet. What's in there? A, a bedroom. All right, I... bring him in, bring him in. Get the stretcher right up here on the bed. Take it easy. Alfred. Easy. Plasma. Love? Yes. Did we hit the house? No, you turned the nose just in time. And both the women are safe? Yes, sir. What about my crew? All alive, sir. The ambulance is outside. I can't risk moving him. Well, you mean he's going to stay here? Please, madam. How do you feel? Are you hungry? Bridget made you this nice nourishing bowl of mush. Madam, believe me, I don't want a nice nourishing bowl of mush. I'd like for you to warm up a side of beef and drag it in here. I'm sorry, they gave strict instructions. They who? Your nurses from the base hospital. They've been here around the clock for the last three days, but when the crisis passed, they... Three days? You don't remember? It was quite a battle you put up. I used to come in sometimes and watch you fighting and swearing. And I think that, well, no matter what happens, this is a man who tries and... I found that admirable. I think I remember. I remember your eyes. Of course, it wasn't all curses and anger. You spoke a good deal about a man named... Was it... Hondorf? He was a... professor of mine once. You wanted him to get out of some place called Blaustadt. And you asked his pardon, over and over. your mouth. 
Madam, there is no need to be nervous. I... I've never fed anybody before. I just hold the spoon steady. Oh. Oh, that must be Bridget. Oh, dear. I'm frightfully sorry. <sighs> yes, yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. Here. Ah. Uh. Is that all right? Very nice, thank you. I'm coming! Yes! Yes! Oh, Bridget, rip! Sorry to make such a racket, ma'am. I didn't know whether you could hear me or not. Hello! Yes, sir. Thank you. Joe, it's good to see you're all right. Well, uh, you don't look so bad for a man that just broke up one of General Stoneman's best airplanes. Oh, boy. <laughs> My help, I might add. Hmm. You really gave us fits for a while there, General. I'm certainly glad you're feeling... You won the war yet, Joe? <laughs> Not quite. We've been hitting the sub-pens. Everything else has been socked in, including Blostad. So it's still there waiting for us, General. That's funny. I'm feeling like Rip Van Winkle, and I wake up and everything is just the same. What's the matter? Well, it really isn't important, General. Except that the town council presented General Stoneman with another one of those pieces of paper yesterday. Only this time it was a petition for your removal. Unless you promise to leave the house alone. Are you kidding? Even after the crash, doesn't that prove anything to them? It's Lady Catherine that keeps everyone stirred up. I've been doing some scouting around, keeping my ears open. Yeah. Well, I've come up with some interesting facts. Go ahead. Her mother was killed in an auto accident when she was four. She was raised by her father. He was very protective, she was very obedient. No parties, no dancing, no boyfriends. And when she grew up, she decided to rebel. She fell in love with a man her father disapproved of, and she ran off to London with him to get married. Then he deserted her, then? No, on the contrary. He offered to set her up in a flat across town, nearly as pleasant as his wife's. She was too ashamed to come home until she had heard her father had had a heart attack and died. You think she blames herself for that? Well, she hasn't been seen outside the house since. I think it's part of the punishment she set up for herself, maybe without even being conscious of it. She has such sad eyes. It'd be very attractive eyes if... Active? Joe, look, why don't you call the base hospital and get the ambulance over here? I'm ready to go. Doc Kaiser wants to examine you first. Yeah. He said he'd be over this afternoon. Look, General, why don't you take a nap or something? We'll spring you out of here as soon as we can, I promise. No, listen, Joe, I don't want... Goodbye, General. Hang on. Joe! Major, I really don't mean to complain, but could you give me any idea how long I'm going to have General Savage on my hands? Well, I know how you feel, ma'am, and uh, I can assure you we'll have him out of your house at the earliest opportunity. Hang on. on your hospitality long enough, Lady Catherine. You think you can catch Major Cobb? No, he's gone. 
You know, you really should be back in bed. It's all right. It's a normal takeoff. There's nothing to be afraid of. There is nothing to be afraid of. Savage, rather, wanted to get some sun. Savage? So... You mean he's still here? Well, yes. The base hospital is extremely crowded right now, so the doctors thought that... Oh, dear. Oh, you poor little thing. He must have fallen out of the nest. If he hurt himself, do you suppose? Catherine, you're outside. Why, yes, of course. Why shouldn't I be? I want Bridget to have a look at this little fellow. Shan't be long. Catherine? General Savage. Ah, oh, yes. Well, my name is Evans. Group Captain Evans. Lady Catherine's told me all about you. Come in. I think I have some cigarettes in here. Would you like one? Oh, thank you. I'll tell Lady Catherine you're here. Oh, she no, she knows. She'll be along presently. She's in back with Bridget. Mm. Thank you. Sit down, won't you, group here? Here, try this one. I found it in the south wing. It's very comfortable. Especially on a rainy night with a big fire in the fireplace. Good drink in one hand, good book in the other one. Almost makes you forget that there's a war on outside. Yes, it sounds most appealing. Very Lord of the Manorish. Well, after hearing about that crash, I didn't expect you'd be up and about quite so quickly. Even so, I'd say you made your point crystal clear, sir. About the necessity of removing this place. Well, I may have made my point, Group Captain. But it doesn't seem to have affected public opinion much. The public opinion will change in time. Especially when the public discovers you've received approval from the Crown. I'm sorry, what did you say? The condemnation proceedings have been completed. You may remove this house, sir, at your discretion. In fact, the sooner the better. Catherine's father did some remodeling on the outside, but most of the basic structure is perilously unsafe. Catherine told me that you were trying to block my efforts to have this house torn down. Well, Catherine was mistaken. Well, I think the field was located incorrectly in the first place, but I think the point now is to make it as safe for your pilots as it can be made. His Majesty's government agrees with me, and may start demolition tomorrow, if you like. Or next year. Since I've been staying here, I've begun to understand how Lady Catherine feels about this house. Sir, I'm afraid you haven't begun to understand anything at all if you think her feelings are healthy. Lady Catherine is not a prisoner in this house, Ruth Captain. No matter what anybody says or thinks, she's been outside. She's even been to the village with Bridget. Yes, I'm sure in time she'll go even farther afield. 
But I can promise you that Catherine will never in the world learn to stand and fight her proper battles as long as she can keep running back to this place. General, I've known Catherine since she was four years old. And I've loved her since then. Now, this isn't a home to her. It's a cave that she can cower in. But she's got to turn her back on these crutches. She's got to go to a man and say, here I am. I want you to love me and protect me. I want the future, not the past. I understand she tried that once. Yes, she tried it. It was a disaster. Now she's afraid to try it again. But that doesn't mean that it shouldn't be tried. Preferably with you, group captain. Preferably with me. Yes, sir. Good. You've met. Derek, my dressmaker just telephoned. She has some patterns she wants me to see. Would you be a dear and drive me in? Yes, of course, Catherine. General? I'll be right back. All right. In the bedroom. Frank? Well, well, well. Who do we have here? Do you like it? Yes. You don't think it's too. dressed up for? You're going to a parade or something? No, no, I'm not going to a parade. I'm going back to war. I called Corporal Smith at the base. He's coming over and bringing the car. Oh, I think it's about time, don't you? No. Oh, Frank, I didn't want this ever to change. At least you won't be a million miles away. Corporal Smith can drive you over for meals. Kathy. What if I were to be transferred? Transferred? What do you mean? Would you come with me? Well, I... I'd certainly wait. That's not what I asked. Well, I couldn't leave the house empty. I see. Frank, what are you saying to me? Catherine, I'm going to sign the demolition order. You're going to what? Now you get all the help you need in moving everything out. You can't. I won't agree. That's out of your hands. You're serious. Oh. Oh, I feel like such a fool. And all this time I thought that... You think what? That you were saving the house? 
such a terrible thing to say to me. I'm sorry, but it's honest. Look, I love you, Frank. All right, then come with me. Catherine, love doesn't doesn't have limits. It doesn't depend on surroundings. Frank, stay in this house with me. This house is a menace to my airfield. It's... I don't tell me there's a war on, General. There is a war on, Catherine. It can't be shut out and forgotten. I can't compromise its problems, and neither can you. Sometimes houses have to be torn down. Sometimes cities have to be bombed, no matter who's in them. Now, those are facts. And facts have to be faced. Corporal, wait in the car. Yes, sir. Hey, Corporal. Hi. I beg your pardon, sir. General Savage, are you leaving? Goodbye, Marina. What on earth? Did you see his face, Ernie? What is it now? What happened? Telephone, Derek. Tell him I've been a fool long enough. Tell him I'm coming to London for a while. Yes. All right. Lovely morning, my lady. Your birds have flown, I see. Parents must have pushed the babes out, huh? Well, it's all for the best, I expect. They do cry and carry on so. But they do have to fly alone sometime, don't they? Yes. Yes, they do have to fly alone sometime. Get ahead, sir. Lost that. Well, they start demolishing the manor house, and we finally reach Blostad all in the same morning. It's quite a day. I guess I just live right, Major. Pilot to Bombardier. Coming off the IP. Roger. I wonder if the day will ever come when we can start building again, instead of tearing down. Bombardier to pilot. PDI centered, sir. All right. It's your airplane. I mean, what's the point of all the pain? Unless something better comes out of this. Something better will come, Major. It'll come. Bombs away. 